Don't think that it's 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 the time and era where you'll be able to pull up and jump out on it or whatever, whatever. And you know, and and and, 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 and and it ain't gonna take. Let me tell you something. I said it best. The hood will take you under for some like this nowadays. Too many cameras, too many look a lose, too many snitches. <laughs> What is the end game for that? Like, you know, so what does what does this what does this individual want to see happen? They want to see you fall. They want to see you destroyed. They want to see you does it is it going to make them more satisfied that you can't feed the family or that you're broke or that nobody f- with you is that <laughs> that's I, I just don't be understanding what be understand the end either. game like like okay, what what do you want to do what do you want to hey, happen you know what man the thing what the is- f- do you want to happen like what do you want me to do you want you you want you you're not gonna be satisfied until what until what I'm laying in the gutter dead and broke or something would that satisfy you. You know like, what, because, man? Man, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out too. You, you know what I believe? Hey, I believe that people take situations like we just had a major situation with one of our co-hosts. You know, I didn't want to let dude go. I didn't want to let him go, but it's business, man. Business always supersedes any relationship, right? It has to. Because guess what? If I if I don't handle Nails. business, we won't be able to pay our bills. I didn't want to let I didn't want to be let go from Sony, but they canceled my contract. I didn't want my deal from Big Beat to to go when I had a production deal, nine albums. It's they was bitch, like though. they was like no no you know it was hey thank you. And good luck. You know what? But the thing is with, with this. And is, I'm not saying that that's the attitude that the individual's supposed to have. I'm not saying that a muff is supposed to be comfortable or not comfortable with it. But then I'm just saying what happens after this? You get know I me? Mean? Do we concentrate on just trying to destroy a muff? Or do we get on up and go get it cracking? And they, that's where most people fail at because I've been let go from situations. Um, I've had, don't get it <clears throat> cracking by just coming at me all the time. You get me? Oh, but that's like, the model. It like it should be like, you know, when I didn't when when I lost a record deal, I had to go find me another record deal, or I start putting out my independently. You get me? I had a little animosity toward the labels. But at the end of the day, I can't sit here and keep being f-ing pissed off because a nigga dropped me. I got to go make me another record somewhere. You have to go because, you know the funniest thing to me, hey, um, last time I had my, um, we had our meeting, you know, we have meetings every other week with Black Effect. You should start getting on them calls, too. And I, and, and I want to clarify this, too. A motherfucker could do the same to me. I could do some shit and the motherfucker could feel like I'm bad karma for the business. Eight, thanks for being around. You know, I made some money. I got myself to another level. I'm going to spin off now. Oh, I'm going to keep it gangster. That's a business. I'm going to keep it gangster, and I'm going to load up the trunks with AKs, and I'm going to go at this nigga. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what's... I, I, don't, I don't know. Like I'm saying, and I'm not speaking for no side because I ain't got shit to do with it. But at the end of the day, what do we want to happen at the end of the day? Because if we can't talk like 50-year-old men and we got to we gotta go to the fact that we got to get back on the block with it over business, then I, I, I don't know, like... You know, th- one thing I do want to clarify real quick, because you know how the internet is, this conversation is not about James McDonald. I actually have a lot of respect for James. I have a ton of respect for him. I don't like the way stuff ended. 
but it's what it is. Sometimes stuff can't end, with a, with a, you know, happily. You, you feel what I mean? Right. Sometimes just certain situations just can't be avoided, you know? So, and I held out for the longest. We had conversations, you know, we had conversations about it. I held out as long as I could, but this conversation is about him. So don't go back talking about what they was talking about you. No, this is about this other guy. And the thing is, man, me as, you just made a valid point. Me as a 50-something-year-old man, I'm not about to be out there tussling with people, dog. I'm not about to be out there doing this and doing that because I'm a businessman. You know what I do have, eight? I have an attorney, a high-powered attorney that don't mind taking right, whatever little shit but, a motherfucker but, got. But who, expects, but who expects you to be tussling? With a nigga, you know what? That, that, that's right. the, is that is that what is that is that what's expected? Is what expected is for for us to get in the, on the street and duke it out? Like what, what's what's shit. expected? And you know, hey, I'm gonna tell you the irony of it all, bro. Over something that has nothing to do with you, this dude don't have nothing to do with nothing. He's a guy. Every relationship he's ever had, he's. Because you know I do my research. I don't do a lot of talking because the thing is, you're talking about people that don't know me from a can of paint technically. We've had a few conversations and I actually helped him with a lot of stuff. Helped him, gave him some assistance, right? Even helped him come up with some stuff because, you know, then you sit up and listen to him talk about how intellectual he is, but his actions say the total opposite. And I was serious when I said, I got kids that's doing better than this dude. And this dude ain't, ain't 50. He's more closer to 60. I never imagined in a million years, man, I went to the music industry. Man, I was in the music industry for 15 years, eight, never had a problem with nobody. I start podcasting. Now it seems like I got a problem with niggas I don't even know. I mean, we go through that right now in this uh, era. I mean, not to say that, you know, niggas ain't always had beefs with niggas because of nothing. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of niggas I didn't have beefs with. I didn't even know I had beef with. You get me? Um, there's been plenty of niggas who just look at a nigga and be all like, I don't like that nigga. Like, why you don't like him? What'd he do? He didn't do shit. I just don't like the nigga. Well, you, That's the attitude we have amongst ourselves, especially on the West Coast. You know what I, I figured out, I don't give a f- man. That's the attitude we got on the West Coast with niggas, man. And it... And, it ain't like about, you know, because a, a lot of niggas, you know, um, speak on, you know, you don't want to see me eat or you don't like my come up. And that, that's, it's just, and that's not nothing about it. You get me? It's just that niggas start getting genuine hate for motherfuckers when they think your position is better than mine. Well, you know what it is, eight. I'm going to tell you this, and this is what I tell people. If your whole basis for your comeback is going to be for you to go make a bunch of episodes about me or make videos about me or whatever like that, right? That's time that you could be spending on doing something productive for you that's going to put you on a level because I've heard this all the time. Every time somebody leaves, oh, the show is over with. This is that. This is going to happen. But yet it keeps climbing. It keeps growing, but right? We as a people like to see us fall. And we, we I mean... <laughs> You know, like I got a homie who he loves the the, the little show with um what's my nigga? Blueface and Krishan. Yeah. He loves it. He cannot <laughs> get it now. I'm talking about a 50-year-old hood nigga. He loves it. You know why? Because it's shit every fing day. It's a every train time. wreck. It's a and he loves it. We love that. You know what, eight? Hey, I told somebody the other day. I don't know. I might have been talking to shout out to Spitfire sitting out sitting here kicking it with his dog today. But um, I was telling somebody the other day, I'm going to make a whole channel just devoted to accidents, train wrecks, <laughs> people falling down the stairs. Because us as people, it's like we get this. We like to see a rush. nigga get. F- we, we just love some. F- and, 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 I don't it's know why. They say we get a dope. We, we get a dopamine rush because I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'll be on the freeway headed to the crib, man, and you traffic be backed up on both sides of the thing, and then you get to the end, you realize it ain't even nothing on this side of the road. There's some shit that don't happen on the other side of the road. Look, People are stopping like to look. Mother. People are stopping to look. I never understood that. People love train wrecks. That shit embarrasses me. I turn this shit off. That's, that's, I look at shit like that, and I be ready to change the channel. 
because I don't like to see niggas embarrassing themselves. It just do something to me. But we as a people, us as the niggas love seeing niggas in some bullshit, man. You mm -hmm. hear me? Oh, I love to see some bitches jumping on a bitch. Oh, I love to see some niggas, you know what I'm saying, taking a nigga's shit or whatever. Like, we love that shit. Hey, man. I've actually and been. like and, and j j not to cut you off, but to go back to the situation like you were saying, where niggas will tune in and watch, you know, videos being made of of bad mouthing and and controversy, and I'ma do this and I'ma do this. They will watch and watch and applaud that sh as to apparently of. Why we can't figure out why 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 there's a situation and a problem, but we can get more likes and followers and fans and whatever off the controversy and the negativity. You get me? Yeah, you know. I don't see no. I, I don't want to see no positive. Shit. I don't want to see them niggas be cool, or I don't want to see this or that. I want to see niggas dumping on each other or trying to go at it. I want to see them two niggas trying to bite each other heads off when at the end of the day, both parties got a gang of shit to lose. You know the, the funny part about you it feel me? is you just said something. You got a family. People. My nigga got a family. Everybody, but, but niggas is acting like we... Like, niggas is 20-year-old niggas on the block with no kids and no grandkids and no... I got nothing to lose. Yeah, you do. You got a whole bunch of stuff you to got, lose. You got to lose the Gangster Chronicles. My nigga got to lose family and situations. My other nigga, whoever it is, you got to lose. Don't think that... It's 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 the time and era where you'll be able to pull up and jump out on a nigga or whatever, whatever. And you know, and what and, else and, 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 and 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 it ain't gonna take. Let me tell you something. I said it best. The hood will take you under for some shit like this nowadays. Too many cameras. Too many look and lose. Too many snitches. N nothing gets away with nothing nowadays. I'm telling you. So why excel the bullshit, my nigga? You got too much to fucking lose. Because I tell a nigga every day, I'm trying to be cool with every mother. I got too much to lose. And H, you know what, though? I'm going to tell you like this, man. We had, um, you know, we had went out to Vegas to shoot this motorcycle thing, right? And it was a good idea. We, you know, this TV show, uh, actually, you know, with movie stuff, when you produce stuff, you don't know what's going to crack. You might get a call two years later on it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a major company that just hit us up, and they was asking me about the footage and this and that, right? So the thing is, they asked me about my man, our former co-host. I said, yeah, definitely keep him involved. Why would I want to impede on him getting a check to be able to take care of his family? I don't operate like that. Again, I'm a businessman. I wanted to say something, man, to see people do stuff we think it's cool to just go out and talk, man. See, Cardi B kind of, she kind of did something real pivotal, man. She won $4 million in a libel lawsuit against this YouTube chick, right? The Latasha Kibi broad. Because, you know, the broad woman they're talking about, she had herpes and was on drugs and all this and that. She sued the shit out of her. You just can't go out and just drag a motherfucking name through the mud with a bunch of bullshit. Because you know what, hey? That's really you impeding my business. You out there putting stuff out that's not true. You're talking about, oh, but well, the company structure is this and that. This man don't know nothing about me. Don't, don't have a clue. He don't even got his own life together. So how are you going to try to run mine? It, it's just like I said. I, I get it from the point of, you know, being emotional and feeling like I had ties or whatever. But like I said, I signed the motherfuckers only for seven years. I knew everybody in the building. I felt I had ties and love and everything too, and a nigga with whatever. And no hard feelings. But we gotta let you go. Oh, you man. get me? Cardi hit this bitch over the head. Three million in punitive damage and attorney's fees. I don't even need to sue you. Why? I don't wanna continue to carry on more shit. Why don't you just leave me the f alone? But you know what, though, man? That's that's my attitude about shit. That's like, I don't even need it to go to the level of, oh, you defaming me, you with me. I'm finna get my lawyers and call a lawsuit. Nigga, I'm a nigga from the block. 
Let's just squash the beef. Period. You know what's funny? It ain't need to be squashed because I'm going to tell you with this, I don't operate from a premise of emotion. That's why you're going to see me get mad. Now, I ain't going to lie. This other nigga had me hot, kind of. Because, you know, you just on this and a bunch of shit. You had me upset. Of course. The That's situation. Like with the situation where it was brought to me between, you get me? Yeah. What y'all tell me when I was getting ready to start going off? I said, man, don't pay that you nigga. You said, dead that shit. I made one comment about it. And left God. it home. And this is my. And I don't care if the other party wants to continue. My piece has been said. So from there, and I get where you coming from, because it was the same situation with me. It seemed like every day it was a different motherfucker speaking on this shit. And now this nigga's talking about it. And now this nigga. And then they go to this nigga's page. And this nigga's and you know what happens? And this nigga's And you channel. know what happens? And I actually had to talk to a few people about this. Your phone ring in the morning. Hey, man, you see such and such don't made a video. Why are you calling me to report this shit? I don't, I don't care what he made. I don't want to know nothing about it because C8, I'm going to tell you I something. say, let me tell you, I used to say shit like that about females and shit. You know, who are your true friends? You get me? Mm -hmm. Because I don't think your true friends want you to be involved in controversy and bullshit. So why is your true friend calling you going, hey, man, you saw this shit or you saw this shit? Man, don't bring that shit to my attention. Everybody likes a reaction. I'm going to tell you why people do this, man. People are being intellectually lazy. People don't want to go do the research that it requires to really do content. Their idea of creating content, oh, we just go go in here and diss motherfuckers and talk about people. Um, call this dude this, call this dude that. But I'm going to tell you, for every action that you have, man, it's a reaction. And there are all consequences and there need to be consequences for certain stuff. Now, when I talk about consequences, man, I'm not talking about going out there throwing hands with somebody as a grown ass man. I'm talking about Legal consequences. You know what? Because let me tell you what's going to happen. A mother on the corner going to be filming y'all, and then they're going to put you up on Instagram and go, look at these two old motherfuckers out here fighting. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be clowning and laughing and doing all kind of shit. And, and they're going to turn it into a comical fest. Niggas don't give I'm a not, You know, you got to think about it like niggas this. Niggas don't they, give a about you niggas. You have somebody that wears your last name proudly, right? Right. I have people that... Wear my last name proudly, man. I'm not trying to embarrass myself, first of all, my mama, my family, and all my true friends that really care about my well-being. These are people that have no bearing or significance whatsoever in my life. They get involved in other people's business and affairs because I'm going to tell you what it comes down to. Again, like I said, people being intellectually lazy. Instead of them going to go do some research, going to go buy them some camera equipment and do whatever they do, go do what you do. Leave me the f alone. That's all I ask. Leave me the f alone. Keep my name out your mouth and move on with your life. I don't owe you nothing. I don't even know you. And see, people will think because they meet you on some business stuff that they know you. And for some reason, man, especially with these older cats, they take it that if you a gentleman and you a businessman and you do everything the right way, that you soft or something. I am not by any means soft, dog. I know some, man, they better knock it off. But I don't even know why. See, that shit confuses me. Like It's confusing it, as a motherfucker. Like dudes, like you just said, like, you know, like nigga think I'm soft. Nigga think I'm soft. And it, like, like what, 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 what does he want to do? You want to fight? Is that what is that what's been said? Because this is my thing. Because for a dude, for somebody to go to that point, like, what do you really want to do? You want to get out in the street and, and duke them out? Like, because you you coming at me on the aspect of, like you just said, you thinking I'm soft, which means in actuality, you want to get out. But why do I want to get out? For, for what? Because... You want to discredit me behind some business sh that don't have nothing to do with you. That's the thing about oh, what? What? Okay, I'm a punk. Okay, yeah, nigga, you a punk. You a bitch ass nigga. You ain't with it. You ain't with it, cuz or blood or whatever it is. Okay, cool. I'm also fifty something years old, and I'm not finna be in the street duking them out on no aspect of like no <laughs> no no because it's it's just hood mentality. I've been there and done that. 
I got enough. I, I'm a business now. You, you get me? I got shit to lose. A lot of shit. Even if it's on the aspect of, you, you know, you want to, what, you want to catch a fade? Okay, and then what? We catch a fade and then somebody wins or loses, and then what? Now it's like, I told you I was going to whoop that nigga ass and whoop. Okay, but at the end of the day, ain't nothing changed. And see, I'm going to tell you what What's happened. What's changed? And I'm going to tell you the what happened. The podcast is still here. You're still not going to, you get me? So what the f*** has changed? You want to throw gonna, a couple of fists you know, because I'm, of your pride? I'm going to tell you You got to grow up they, off of that shit. Man, tell you what happens, Fuck the pride, man. I'm Let's be you. real men and move on with yeah. the situation. I'm gonna you tell you me? what this. Hey, this is what happens, right? Because I've seen it time and time again, right? This is this is the situation. Still, that happens. you go out and fight a nigga today. At the end of the day, still what? Gangsta Chronicles yeah, still, still be gonna, gonna be right still, here, still, right? Still, yeah, still. Gonna Nothing's gonna shit. change whether you win or lose. What's gonna happen? We still gonna be on set next week. Exactly. Exactly. So, and so, so I. Man, this I, is the, this is the, but this is the crazy part about the eight. Then I'm off of it. You go out there and you get the best of a nigga, right? Now his ego is bruised because he don't want to talk cash and don't got his head lumped up. Now he wants to come try to shoot your house up. Uh, and all but kind why of though? You 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 face it's, the it's consequences because you get your head lumped up and you come back and there's bullet holes somewhere. Who the f they gonna think did it? That's what I'm saying. Niggas you got, ain't like listen, this, this ain't, is a movie. This ain't 85. This, it's not. I don't give a f We've all walked these blocks around here as far as trying to represent the hood and be whatever. This ain't 85. You do anything. You shit on the block on the corner right now. It's going to be a million niggas with their cameras out filming you you get me? And tomorrow it's going to be on social media. You're not getting away with nothing. So if it's about pride, like I said, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You know, from whatever the situation is, you address it. My, my nigga said something about it. Whatever it is, at the end of the day, nothing is going to change. Gangsta Chronicles still going to be going on. You going to be over there doing your thing. My niggas over there on the other podcast going to be doing their thing. And at the end of the day, it's just going to be another disgrace of two niggas who, who was, you know what I'm saying, two grown-ass men who can't come to a settlement or a situation over a misunderstanding or whatever. And for all the outside motherfuckers, it don't even need to be, you know what I'm saying? When niggas say let a nigga catch a head up fade, this is a head up fade. This is a head up fade on business between two individuals. All the outside parties, what what is the problem? You know what though? That's the thing. Hey, this shouldn't be no problem because at the end of the day, this dude has nothing to do with nothing. Now, I'm off of it, man. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic, this is not your average show.